We do begin this hour, though, with a look at something that a lot of people can relate to, loneliness. So why are we talking about this now? Well, in a new Gallup survey, 23% of people said they felt loneliness, quote, a lot of the previous day, and this can be a real health issue. Those who reported loneliness often felt things like physical pain, worry, sadness, stress, and anger. But there is hope, and board-certified psychiatrist Dr. Sue Varma is here to help. Good morning, Dr. Varma. Good to have you with us. Good morning. Thank you. Let's talk about the impact of loneliness because we know it can have very much physical and mental effects as well. How can we deal with these effects? Yes. What so, are the symptoms? Yeah, so first of all, just being aware of the fact that loneliness is a medical problem and it's the equivalent of having somebody smoke 15 cigarettes per day. And we know that it affects our mind and our body. Wow. It predisposes us to anxiety and depression. It increases our risk by 30% for heart disease, for stroke, 50% for dementia, and 60% for premature mortality. So we have to take it very seriously. Loneliness is this feeling that there is a mismatch between the quality of social life that we have and the one that we want. We can be in a room full of people and feel lonely, but it's this feeling that subjectively people don't understand us, people are not with us. So look at the quality of your relationships and say, do I feel seen and validated and appreciated? Do I have a good mix of what I call activity partners, people to go to a yoga class with, people to go on a hike with, but then also do I have these deeper connections? So we want to have mm. a mix of micro connections, talking to the barista, talking to your dog walker, but also deep and meaningful connections in your life where you can feel vulnerable and open up to share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apparently, uh, younger people in the U.S. fare worse on loneliness than people in other countries. Why might that be? You know, it's really unfortunate that as much as we want our children to succeed, the emphasis I feel is being put on academic achievement. And um, and, and for kids, they're looking at financial achievement. And a lot of the, the, these goals, these milestones that were possible for us years ago aren't possible for them. Mixing in climate change, war, people are feeling, young people are feeling helpless, they're feeling mm. alienated, they're feeling disconnected. Mm. And the places that they would turn to, friends, parents, coaches, are no longer sources of safe havens, they're sources of stress because of this competition to succeed. Mm. We know that young people are not spending as much time in person with each other as much as they used to. High school students are only spending 40 minutes a day outside of school. The emphasis is on getting to colleges. When I speak to, co to high school students, they say, I can't remember the last time I did something fun just wow. for the sake of it. Oh not for my, my resume. Heart. So what specifically can we do to alleviate loneliness? You have to put it on your calendar as if it was a medical appointment. Oh, you know, I just okay. came back from a trip. I was in Cartagena with my family, and I, we were on a boat ride going to some of the islands, and I saw a group of women on our boat. It was just my family and them, and they were 25 women. All had these towels that said 25 years of friendship. And mm -hmm. I said, how do you know each other? They're in their 50s, and they said, well, we all grew up together, mm -hmm. and we have made it a routine to have dinner once the a month. The intentional. The intentional. Yes. Once a month at everybody's house. And even during the pandemic, we put the Zoom on, and we were all eating. We, don't, we never want to lose touch with this friendships. And I was like, my huh. God, we have yeah. to be deliberate about it. So schedule it in, look at your calendar and say, that walk that I'm going on with my dog, who am I going to call to join me? That coffee date that I'm going on, who's going to walk me to the train to get to That's the good. Yes. Yeah. So we got to schedule those social interactions. That's really it. good. As yeah. if your life depends on it, because the quality of our life depends on the quality of our relationship. Yeah. Yes. Mm. It's really good advice. Yeah, it's not optional. It's not a nice to have, it's a need to have. Yes. There you go. Yes, absolutely. Dr. Sue Varma, thank you This was much. a good segment. Dr. Sue. Yeah, it was.